Indian races were feuding over the universe. The Naprosan clan from Yukan wished to take over planet Earth. The Nuka clan seek to protect the creatures on Earth from the Naprosan warriors. However, the Nukra from Kanchu had other plans uh, with the planet after they w were done protecting it. It was a technical, technological race between the two races. They both used all of their resources to achieve travel into the fourth dimension as well as inconspicuous travel to Earth. However, the Nukra were the first to reach this goal, and they decided they needed to know more about Earth, Earthlings, and the sentient beings on Earth in order to defend the planet from its unknown aggressors. The Nukra began abducting people that would not be noticed or missed uh, so as not to be noticed in order to study the planet. The Nukra studied the Earthling and discovered all of the weaknesses and strengths of the strange beings. They knew Earth had no chance against the Naprosan, so they began to create guardians. These guardians were a result of the fourth dimensional technological advances that the Nukra had achieved. They found the sacred Liger of the fourth dimension and spliced the DNA of a Liger with Earth-like creatures so as to create a creature that would not be noticed to Earthlings as unusual. They used the beaver and duck uh, from Earth in order to create this being, which is the platypus. They used the Liger's DNA for strength and bravery, and the beaver for its ability to build, the duck for its subtlety and plainness, and the, the ability it has to blend in. The guardians, or platypi, needed a leader to keep them focused on their duties and make sure that their mission was accomplished. So, the Nukra created a prince named Perry, Perry the prince of the platypi. Uh, Perry's mixture was contaminated when a Nukron scientist was eating his lunch and accidentally uh, dropped some of it into the DNA splicing machine and Perry came out blue instead of the regular color of a platypus. This malfunction, however, did not affect his exquisite leading abilities or his powers as a platypus. Eventually, what the Nukra had predicted happened. The Neprosan came to Earth and fought the Nukra. However, the Nukra had the help of the platypi, which kept them away from humans because of their fourth dimensional abilities. No one thing or saw the ongoing battle as it was above our abilities to witness. Day after day, the battle raged on for an entire year. Eventually, the Naprosan were defeated by the Nukra with the aid of their platypi allies. The Nukra then decided to carry out the plan that they had had from the beginning. The plan to use the platypi to repel other alien races while enslaving the human race for their own personal use so they would not need to do anything as in their eyes humans would be much better than artificial assistance because humans would not break down and could be brainwashed after years of cloning. But the platypi were attached to the humans due to their years of service on the planet and rebelled against their Nucron masters. And this was in at a time where society was still very primitive so there is not any solid evidence for this but it is true. <laughs> to this day the platypi still protect humans from other alien races, all alien races, and that is why we never see aliens, as they are scared to come back to Earth and confront the platypi.